Hello everybody! Here is going to be our videos for the second week of our e-learning. We're going to be learning about dinosaurs. So this is the first video of our dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and get started singing our song. Please gather round and sit right down under the teaching tree. Woof! It's time to listen and to learn under the teaching tree. Woof! Letters, numbers, shapes, and colors, stories, songs, and rhymes. Are you ready to begin? under the teaching tree. All right, let's see what we have to learn about for these dinosaurs, okay? Max is a little scared because dinosaurs are pretty big and they can be scary, but we'll see if they're still around. All right, so this week we're learning about some exciting animals that God did create, because God created everything, right? Yes, he did. Okay, so let me show you this poster. Here are some of our dinosaurs. Can you see it all? Let's see. Have any of you ever seen a dinosaur? Hmm. Dinosaurs used to live on the earth. Fossils prove that they lived on the earth. And God's word, his Bible, describes large land and sea creatures that may have been dinosaurs. Let me show you this other post, the other side of the poster. These are their skeletons or their bones. These are the fossils and the remains that people have found over the years of dinosaurs. This is what proves that dinosaurs were around, okay? And God's word. All right, so let's see. From studying these fossils, paleontologists have learned many things about dinosaurs. Can you say that word, paleontologist? Awesome. Those are the people that study the dinosaurs. One thing that scientists do not know is what color dinosaurs were. They may have been brown or gray or spotted or even striped. The paleontologists can only guess, just like we can. There were big, great dinosaurs like the Brachiosaurus, who was almost 50 feet tall. These dinosaurs were plant eaters and had very long necks to help them reach the tops of trees for food. Let's see if we can find the Brachiosaurus. There he is, right in the middle. You see him with the long neck eating the trees, just like the book told us. He wants to be able to reach the very tippy top of the trees. And you know, that's just how God made him, just for that purpose. He makes us all special in certain ways, and we all can figure out what that is. Some dinosaurs moved very, very fast, and some moved very slow. Some dinosaurs swam underwater. Another animal that looked like a dinosaur is called the pterodon. Let me find it here. Let's see, right here. Here it is. Some of us may call it a pterodactyl. Okay, so let's see. Some dinosaurs swam under the water, and the pterodon it flew in the sky. That's what it had wings for. It shows us in the picture. And we know that from the fossils. We know that God created all the different dinosaurs because the Bible tells us that he created everything. He made dinosaurs at the same time he made all the other animals during the week of creation. Remember those six days that we learned about in the very beginning of the year. God gave Adam the job of naming all the animals, including the dinosaurs, the elephants, the cats, and the kangaroos. Isn't that awesome? Who would like to have that job? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so that is what we are going to learn about dinosaurs and that part of our story. And also, dinosaurs lived in the past. If something happened in the past, it happened sometime before right now, like yesterday. It could have happened earlier today or yesterday or last week or many years ago. Like when we learned about creation, that was in the very first week of school. That was in the past. So dinosaurs lived in the past, okay? Remember that word. The word present, not like a gift, but that is the same word. It can also mean something that is happening right now. Like this video, you're watching it right now, present time. Now is the present and we are 
I am at school, but you are at home or wherever you are watching this video in the present time, all right? So let's see. If we were going to have today's lunch, depending on when you're watching this video, would you eating lunch be now in the present time or did it already happen in the past? Or is it in the future? Are you going to eat lunch sometime today? Can you think about that? Hmm, I know I already ate lunch, so it was in the past. Now what about, hmm, let's see. God creating dinosaurs, that would be in the past, you're right. And let's see, when your mom and dad were born, in the past or present? In the past, good job. And let's see, what about summer? Right now we are almost in spring. So would summer, summer comes after spring, so it would be in the future. Good job. All right, let's see here. I'm going to wrap it up here in this short video, this first one, okay? But we learned a lot, so we need to, we need to review some of the stuff with, that we learned in this video. So what animals did we learn about today? Dinosaurs. What are some things that we learned about the dinosaurs? Well, let's see. They were created by God. Some were large and some were small and some moved fast and some moved slow. What is the big word that we call the scientists who study dinosaurs and other fossils? Do you remember? Starts with a P, Paleon, paleontologist. Good job, all right. I hope we are all learning something out of these videos and working on our worksheets with these cool dinosaur drawings that we can color and crafts, all right? So let's have a happy heart to do all of those worksheets too, okay?